Tesla's Cybertruck, Rivian R1T, Ford's upcoming promised electric pickup, and of course, the recently announced electric Hummer pickup. But now there's a new kid in town. Nikola has just unveiled the Nikola Badger. No, I'm, I'm not going to say that meme, even though I really, really want to. It's, it's kind of catchy. Badger, badger, badger. Anyway, Nikola has just unveiled a fuel cell extended battery electric vehicle. What's that I hear you ask? Well, it's essentially a battery electric pickup truck with a fuel cell range extender on board, which Nikola says is good for 600 miles of range. We don't have any videos yet, but here are some pictures that Nikola has shared with us along with the spec list. Let's go over it right now. Ironically, I'm on my way to California to drive an electric truck, a slightly larger one from Volvo, but I figured that this was pretty important news and so I owed you a video on the subject. 0 to 60, 2.9 seconds for a pickup. That's fast and that's directly shooting across Tesla's bow. So is the fact that Nikola's truck, the Nikola Badger, while it has an unusual name, is a fairly conventional looking pickup truck, at least on the outside. The inside, to my tastes, is a little bit futuristic and perhaps maybe not as rugged as I might expect from the Nikola brand, especially as they have made a name for themselves making off-road vehicles or promising off-road vehicles and making heavy-duty Class 8 trucks. But that's still super impressive. 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Well, like I say, that's Tesla fast. That's Rivian fast. That's going to make waves in the plug-in and alternative vehicle world. Let's talk about peak horsepower. That's 906 horsepower, which is less than the 1,000 horsepower that we're expecting from the electric Hummer. But the continuous horsepower is 455 horses. Now, let's talk about peak torque, which is 980 foot pounds. As I'm traveling, I'm not going to convert these into metric, but that's pretty meaty and it's going to mean it's got lots of power for towing. Now, the battery range on its own is 300 miles, which is not quite Cybertruck territory, but that's pretty impressive by anyone's standards. And if you want to go further, well, you can use the hydrogen range extender for another 300 miles, which is absolutely crazy. It can carry eight kilograms of hydrogen on board, which will be compressed, obviously, and Nikola is building out its own hydrogen fueling stations. We'll find out more about those at Nikola World later this year. Yes, there's going to be another Nikola World, just as there was last year, and we're hoping to go. In terms of towing capacity, we're looking at 8,000 pounds, which in the towing world is not super heavy, but it's still pretty meaty considering that most people drive around in their pickup trucks and never actually use them in anger for anything other than going fast in the fast lane on the freeway. Let's face it, most pickups today are driven as show vehicles. They're not actually used in anger for any particular reason. Next, let's talk about the drivetrain. We've been told it's going to have all-wheel drive capabilities, which is not really a surprise. And we'll find out more about the Nikola Badger at the upcoming Nikola World. So let me know what you think initially based on those specs. What are we going to see? Now, Nikola has yet to bring any vehicle into series production that is road going. They've made some off-road vehicles and we're being told that the Nikola 1, the Nikola 2, the Nikola Trey are all coming to market and will be used for fleet buyers. But this is a really interesting take on what is becoming a really exciting vehicle marketplace. Pickup trucks a year ago weren't being given any attention by any major automakers. We only really had the Rivian and maybe a hint that Ford and GM are going to do something. Now we've got Rivian, we've got Tesla with a Cybertruck, we've got Ford with its upcoming electric F-150 and we've also got the Hummer from GM and now well if you want to go further we've got the Nikola Badger and considering that when you tow when you carry heavy loads your range drops I know from driving a Chevy Bolt with a with a trailer on the back your range drops so if you've got a range extender on board it does mean 600 miles 
that's impressive if you don't have anything on the back but if you're towing more it's probably going to be closer to 350 400 500 miles depending on how much you're towing what the aerodynamics are and how how well you drive but that's still really impressive let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe you can support us through patreon send us a coffee through ko-fi and i will be back soon with more cleaner greener safer and smarter news keep evolving